this is designed for it's a hot bright day and you can still see the display if you didn't show me the the bump and you asked me what phone this is i would say iphone solid mind here and today we are looking at the first impressions of the google pixel 9 the 9 pro and the fold look what i have i have a google what do you call this flask now for you guys in the comments tell me how did i get this from google by the way anyway so we're asking the question is it worth upgrading to the Pixel 9, the Pro and the, and the Fold? Let's find out. Okay, so it looks like they have basically redone the whole Pixel um, family for phone. That phone looks gorgeous. Oh, wow. That, that looks beautiful. Oh, give me a second this so one thing i've loved about, about, about pixels by the way is that the the front display looks like an actual phone if you look at the fold and the flip from the samsung side uh the aspect ratio makes the front a lot thinner and narrower than a normal display more like 16 by 9 or even a bit more thinner but which is ideal but the Pixel phone does that. It feels like a normal phone. Yes, it sacrifices the inner display because it looks more like a square than a, you know, which is not ideal when you open the inside. But come on, like this looks gorgeous. One thing I can definitely see is because this isn't completely, you know, all the way to the end is it might not lie down flat when you put it on the side. But hey, Let's continue, but so far, that is gorgeous. Wow. People are saying the names are a bit confusing. Honestly, it's it's not really that bad, except maybe the full. Yeah, I like this one. I like how uh, this goes all the way to the end. So uh, this looks like it's bulging a little bit more than the normal Pixel Pixel 8. Um, the color looks nice, actually. It looks very nice. But the base phone, the Pixel 9, is $799. And with that, you get the 6.3 inch screen size, and it has this new design with the flat matte metal sides and a polished glass back in four colors. Porcelain is white, obsidian is black, and then wintergreen and peony. Okay, okay. The colors do look nice. The colors look very muted. So imagine like very saturated colors and then you put the scale a little bit less they look like desaturated versions of the much brighter colors kind of cosmo and wanda vibes and then there's the two pro phones so the pixel 9 pro and pro xl so what's sick is the 9 pro it's the exact same size as the pixel 9 just like what the iphone's been doing and the only thing that's different about the xl is it's just bigger just a bigger 6.8 inch screen <laughs> and a bigger battery that's all you really need, honestly. When I'm looking to buy a phone, the things I consider is a screen and battery life, really. So cameras are secondary for me because I have a DS. Uh, can I bring it into the frame? I'm talking about it, but one second. I have a DSLR that I can use here. Here, here it is. See, I have a Canon DSLR that I can use. Um, that's accessible to me, let me put that away. So for me, a camera isn't really needed because I have a proper camera, but it's nice to have a good camera on a phone. But yeah, the pro phones start at 9.99 and 10.99. And so this pricing is more in line with the Samsung pricing. Uh, the iPhone pricing is still a little bit higher on the Pro Max element of it, but this is not competing on that side, even though it probably has better features. Yeah, I said it. With that, you'll get an extra third camera, telephoto camera. They have more RAM and they switch to glossy rails with a soft touch glass back again. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but this looks like an iPhone clone. If you didn't show me the, the bump and you asked me what phone this is, I would say iPhone because it looks very similar to apple iphones i'm just saying it 
if you guys see it, let me know in the comments down below. They have more RAM and they switch to glossy rails with a soft touch glass back. Yeah. Again, in four colors, obsidian, porcelain, hazel, which looks nice, and mm -hmm. rose quartz, kind of a more faded pink. So I got to handle these phones for like two hours. And the Obsidian looks like a charcoal black, not like a deep black, more like a charcoal element. More like between a black and a gray, which for me is what I would go for. Entire time, right from the beginning, I was like, oh, wow, yes. Okay, Google's done it. These phones really feel and look like actual flagships. And it's not just because the trend these days is to do flat sides. Like, obviously, I've talked about how I like that, but that's not the only thing. They feel a little bit heavier in the hand now, which gives them a more solid feel. The screens are all much brighter, so the Pixel 9's Actua display. They do look, well, that is bright. Five thousand, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So on this channel, I have been looking at quite a few um, handheld PC gaming devices. You know, ROG Ally, um, Steam Deck, you know, Legion Go, all those type of handhelds. And on those, 500 nits is good. If you're lucky, you get 700. This is designed for, it's a hot, bright day and you can still see the display this is at the extreme end and the price point does justify it is 35 percent brighter than the pixel 8 and there's thinner bezels all the way around and yes finally it's an ultrasonic fingerprint reader under the display not optical and the camera Great. visor around the back uh this is polarizing but the huge lens opening i think it just looks promising now of course, I'm gonna have to test all these things for the- Yeah, Pixel has some of the best photos out there, even compared to iPhone, some of the best photos. Video-wise, iPhones always win, but photo-wise, it's so close. Full review and really see what they're made of, so get subscribed to see that. But my first impression, at least, is that, you know, these photos are gonna end up very pixel-like, very punchy and contrasty, and they're just bigger sensors than before, so potentially more shallow depth of field. But I guess, aesthetically, the camera bump, uh, even though I like the older ones better, I still kind of don't mind these new ones. I know- Okay, let's have a look at uh, the other ones, okay. So we've seen the Pro and the 9, so far so good. For me, what I want to look into is more of the fold. Actually, you know what? No, no. I will stop it here, actually. Um, the question is, should you buy the Pixel 9 and 9 Pro? Um, from what I've seen so far, if you have a Pixel, I would consider upgrading. This is especially like a 8 or a 7. This is a big difference in terms of what they look like. I haven't obviously touched the phones, seen the phones. I'm just looking uh, same way you are. Uh, I'm impressed. That's all I can say. But leave a comment down below. Are you guys going to get the Pixel 9? Because if you do, um, I'm a little jealous. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.